I'm Jason Dale, and this is Two Minutes in the Hills. Mayor Barnett recently welcomed Albanian President Bujar Nashani to Rochester Hills. President Nashani was in the United States visiting American cities with large Albanian communities. Since St. Paul's in Rochester Hills is the world's largest Albanian Catholic church outside of Albania, Rochester Hills was on that list. President Nishani was the second Albanian president to visit Rochester Hills in the last three years. Then President Barmir Tapi visited in September of 2010. Mayor Barnett had a chance to meet President Nishani earlier in his visit, but made his formal remarks at St. Paul's. The people of this church and of your community, you should know, Mr. President, are wonderfully engaged. Uh, they're active, energetic, passionate people in Rochester Hills and in, in the state of Michigan. They're leaders in education, in business. They own companies. They manage assets. They're leaders in thought, education, influencing politics, religion, active, vibrant members of the fabric of this community. Our relationship with the people of, uh, of Albania goes uh, very deep and strong. Members, many of them in this room, helped us create a very unique relationship with our friends in the city of Tours, a relationship that has yielded not only friendship, but uh, donations of scholarships and school supplies and, and sporting activity or sporting goods to the people of that fine city. Mr. President, we're very proud of the relationship we have and the folks that live in our community that call themselves Albanians. If you were to visit my office, you'd probably feel right at home. I have a Lahuta, Chiftali, and many pictures of the city of Tunis. I haven't learned how to play them yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Mr. President, we're honored with your visit here today. You are always welcome in the city of Rochester Hills. We're so very proud of the relationship that we have here. St. Paul's is a wonderful institution, and we will support them as long as they'll ta as long as they'll have us. Mr. President, may God bless you. May God bless your family, the people of Albania, and may God continue to bless the United States. Most of President Nishani's remarks were made in his native language, except those thanking Mayor Barnett and the city. <laughs> Now, allow me to say a few words in English to address the mayor and to express my thanks and my grateful for excellent and warm, friendly environment offered to Albanian citizens, Albanian nation people, any time that they arrive to the United States of America. Mr. Mayor, please allow me to express my deep grateful on behalf of the Republic of Albania and my people, to you personally, to Council of the City, to all citizens of the city for warm welcome and very friendly environment offered to Albania. Such beautiful people and such very good people who every day work now hardly for their own country now here in the United States of America. Mr. Mayor, I um, deeply believe that the Albanian community here will be in your full support for keeping forward your mission, your job, your work, and the best of the city and the best of this country. The program was followed by a tour of the church. As with any head of state, the security was pretty tight, with only a select few getting within arm's reach of the president. The entourage stopped by a classroom before entering the church itself for some conversation and a few pictures. Of course, with a mini press corps along for the trip, every step was well documented. The tour ended in the church library before President Nashani was off to the airport. It's fairly rare that a city of 75,000 gets so much international attention. But it's our diverse and eclectic population that not only makes us so proud, but also puts us in that global spotlight.